once again, Honorable Chukwu Mumoji, representing the good people of Agata Federal Constituency. Mr. Speaker, most of us who in our university days worked as student union leaders know quite all right that the problem of courtism is deeper than the way we look at it. Because we know quite all right that the courtists in the 80s are today in important positions of power. And what do the societies do? They now form an umbrella body for the ones that have graduated and then move ahead to register such organizations. The truth of the matter is that we know that beginning from the Pirate Club Fraternity to the Black Ass Movement, the IA, the Vikings, as many as they are today, have bigger organizations outside the student uh, formation from where they now draw their power and strength. And the organization is, is they are highly coordinated. And in various universities, when these people are apprehended, you now discover that one way or the other, they escape the long arm of the law, which means that there is a higher connection involved. And most of the students that are apprehended are children of the rich and well connected. So my contribution to this problem is that, first of all, we should keep record of the activities of those that are apprehended and make sure that when they are expelled from the university, they do not succeed in getting admission in any other university in Nigeria. Because that's the major problem. If the ones that are caught, if you rusticate them, the parents will now secure admission for them in another university. And what is predominant now is that they go to private universities. So my suggestion, I have an amendment to the prayer, that the National University Commission should keep a record of those that are involved in court activities. Immediately they are expelled, they should make sure that they are not granted admission in any university in Nigeria. If that is done, at least, we take care of the operation within the university system. Then in the larger society, the Nigerian police and the DSS, should investigate organizations that are registered as NGO and know which one is an offshoot of those fraternities that we know and then stop them from being registered and then stop their meetings in Abuja and in Lagos. When that is done, they will cut off, we now cut off the power from where they draw, get their finance and uh, the protection from the law. Uh, I so submit, Mr. Speaker.